My name is Stephen Cutchins. I'm the senior pastor here, and it's a great joy to welcome you to our campus. We have a great concert tonight, and it's a great opportunity for us to celebrate and say thank you and, uh, to our veterans and celebrate our country and our freedom. A uh, special thank you to uh, Jim Towell and his contribution here uh, and to our church. He's our orchestra director, and I always say his name wrong. I always do, just to get him smiling. And kind of a neat thing that is happening in my life, Jared Best, I was actually a band director in Fort Mill, South Carolina before I was ever a, a, um, uh, in ministry, and I taught in the same school system where he came through as a, as a band student, so it's a great joy to have him in the community and knew him before he was coming here, what, it's been two years now? Two years, his second year, so it's great to have both of these gentlemen here and to have all these students on our stage. It's a great joy. Thank you all for coming and being here. This is a great annual event for us. I just wanted to, again, thank you each for being here tonight. This is going to be a wonderful opportunity, like I said, for us to celebrate and remember the freedom that we have and the people that have set the stage for that for their service to our country. And I'd like to start tonight with a word of prayer. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity to come into this place and just to recognize who you are as the author of freedom. And so, Father, we thank you that you have made us to be people who are, are free. And, Lord, we thank you for this country, this grand experiment in freedom. And, Lord, we pray that it would be uh, one nation under God. And, Lord, as we celebrate tonight uh, the, the freedom that we have, Lord, that we would be mindful of all those who serve and have served to maintain our status free country. And so, Father, as we celebrate our country tonight, celebrate our veterans, Lord, we pray that uh, you would be pleased with what happens here, and Lord, that we would have a great time uh, in this house of worship. And we pray these things in your son's holy name. Amen. Amen.
Ensemble. The Ensemble is happy to have the Perfect Baptist Choir joining us again this year for this spectacular event. We certainly hope you enjoy yourself this evening as we pay honor and tribute to those who have served or are currently serving this great country. The first selection you heard this evening was directed by Mr. Jared Best. Associate Band Director of Lakeside High School. The song was entitled Fanfare for the Common Man and was composed by Aaron Copeland. When asked to compose a patriotic fanfare for the Cincinnati Symphony, Copeland strove for what he himself described as a certain nobility of tone, which suggested slow rather than fast music. The title followed from the composer's reaction to that of Piston's Fanfare for the Fighting French. As Copeland recalled, it seemed to me that if the fighting French got a fanfare, so should the common man, since, after all, it was the common man who was doing the dirty work in the war. At this time, please stand as the Lakeside High School JROTC Color Guard presents the colors. of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
keyboard composer John Williams. This arrangement was written for the 2004 Rose Bowl ceremony, an event that Williams was asked to conduct. Born in the Bronx, William Schumann dropped out of business school to pursue composition after hearing the New York Philharmonic for the first time. He became a central figure in New York's cultural institutions, leaving his presidency of the Juilliard School to become the first director of Lincoln Center in 1961. Chester is the third movement of the New England Triptych, a collection of three pieces based on tunes by the colonial era New England composer William Billings. The tune on which this composition was based was born during the very time of the American Revolution. Chester was so popular that it was sung throughout the colonies from Vermont to South Carolina. It became the song of the American Revolution, sung around the campfires of the Continental Army and played by fighters on the march. <laughs> 